Hi everyone, I am Cornelius of Voice Studio East, and this is the fifth episode of my beginner singing course. Last time we explored the concept of legato and how to prevent consonants from interrupting it. There are however also vowels that can interrupt it. And today's video will revolve around one such vowel, namely the E vowel. The basic problem with the E vowel is that it is very closed. As we ascend in pitch, in order to keep the voice functioning efficiently, we need to open up the vowel. In particular, we need to look at getting more jaw separation. When forming the E vowel in the context of speech, most people keep the jaw almost closed, making barely any separation between their upper and lower teeth. This tends to lead to problems when ascending in pitch, for reasons that are somewhat beyond the scope of this video to explain, though curious viewers may click the link in the description for my video series on resonance in singing. As far as this video is concerned, however, we will simply note that higher notes require some jaw separation and proceed to see what we can do about applying that principle to make the E vowel easier. Unfortunately, if we simply take a usual speech E vowel and increase the jaw separation, the tongue will drop, causing the vowel to change rather drastically into more of an air. E. Alternatively, if you do manage to keep the tongue up, the result will most likely be an E vowel, but one that is obnoxiously bright. What we need to do instead is to relax the mouth, allowing the corners of the mouth to medialize and using a high forward tongue position to maintain the E vowel with this new narrower lip shape. Even with this greater jaw separation, however, we will still need to open up the E vowel as we ascend in pitch. Fortunately, we are in luck, as both these modifications can be practiced with a single exercise. It goes like this. We, 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 we. When practicing this exercise, keep in mind the lesson from the previous episode. As we go up in pitch, we want the sound to remain clear and retain its warmth. And to achieve this, it is important that the volume is allowed to rise with the pitch. Here we go. We, 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 we. And now with me. We, 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 we. We, 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 we. We, 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 we. The Italianate U vowel is another troublesome vowel. In fact, for modal singing, it is generally quite a bit more troublesome than even the E vowel. Unfortunately, this means it is somewhat beyond the scope of the beginner course and will have to be revisited in the advanced course. However, even now we may already do some work on the English U, which is more fronted than the Italianate one, and therefore easier to work with. The key is to really rely on this frontedness to get a sharp buzzing tone. And for this purpose, we will use an exercise similar to the one we just concluded, but with some slight differences. You, you, yo, you, you. We are now using a J as the initial consonant, and we are opening the vowel towards 
o instead of e. Here we go. You, 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 you. And now with me. You, 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 you. You, 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 you. You, you, yo, you, you. And that's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Stay tuned, remember to like and subscribe for more content, and as always, thanks for watching.